Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. What is up, Cleveland? It is I, Jay Wise, here with another cash flow investment opportunity for you, man. Take a look at these numbers, folks. 4214. West 42nd Street, Cleveland, 4 for 109. Man, I priced this bad boy at 99.9. Man, we got two tenants in the building already, right? This is under full Holton Wise management, right? Getting all that passive management experience. Already got folks living there. Now, we've had this building in our portfolio for quite some time. Uh, so you'll see that we have Unit 2, uh, which is the 1 1, right? Uh, we actually have that one paying more in rent than the two one, right? You see, over the last couple of years, uh, things, if you guys haven't noticed, are more expensive, right? Uh, gas is more expensive, uh, cars, houses to buy, and when they're expensive to buy, well, guess what, folks? They're going to be more expensive to rent, right? So that one-bedroom tenant, he's actually in there at market rent, which is 700 and uh Holton Wise kind of has a long-standing policy uh, of not always going to the extreme with existing tenants on jacking their rent up all the time, right? It's funny because you take all those wokey assholes uh, that write garbage, trash, shitbag articles for horribly, uh, you know, horribly biased and untrustworthy publications like Scene Magazine, and they're calling your boys at Holton Wise slublords, right? Uh, which is uh, rather offensive because uh, I don't think anybody provides a nicer uh, low-income housing product in the city of Cleveland than Holton Wise, number one. Number two, we actually have a long-standing policy of not jacking up the rents on existing tenants. We actually do so slowly, right? It's a give-take, right? It's a give-take. Uh, you see, we understand as business owners that if you are always pedal to the metal trying to get market rents, like if we took Mr. 650 here and we're like, yo, it's 2022, dude. I went to Giant Eagle the other day and freaking... Garlic aioli is seven fifty a jar. True story. Freaked me out. I don't do much grocery shopping at my house. Anyway, first time uh, since you know this whole Build Back Better world, I go there and I was shocked by the the immense cost of garlic aioli. It used to be like three bucks. Anyway, moral of the story is when prices go up, if we were one of those landlords that would always, always, always try to max it out, be like, "Yo, Mister Six Fifty Tenant, your unit's worth eight fifty now. Pay or get the hell out." What that would do, folks, is that would create more artificial turnovers for our investor clientele, i.e. you, okay? That's not good business, okay? Holton Wise actually tries to keep butts in as many in Cleveland as as many butts in Cleveland houses as possible at all times, right? We are housing more people in mixed-use apartment buildings, small scattered site buildings than anybody else in Cleveland. And we like to have a high occupancy rate. It's not good for the tenants, not good for the community, not good for the landlords to have a whole bunch of vacancies. So that, folks, is why it's at 650. That said, Mr. 650's rent is going to need to go up, but I don't uh, recommend investors go all the way up to 850. And again, as you guys know clearly, anybody who watches my show, it's not because I'm on a soapbox or I'm some wokey asshole writing for uh, Scene Magazine like Mark Opria and that other freaking chode tugger. What the hell was his name? Sam Allard. What a piece of shit Sam Allard is. Anyway. It's not like I'm one of those guys. I just happen to be an intelligent business owner and know that artificial turnover is what hurts your ROI, guys. Let me paint a little picture for you. If we have two landlords, okay, landlord A is always a little bit under market rent over the course of 10 years, and he ends up with one tenant during that time, never once making that tenant pay market rent. And then landlord B over the same 10-year period, always, no matter what market rent is, he goes to the max every single year, the biggest increase he possibly can. And he ends up with five tenants over the course of that 10-year period. Who do you think's going to make more money? 
Ding, 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 ding. It's landlord number A. Well, number one, or A. I think I said A. It's the landlord that keeps the same tenant in the unit for 10 years' time. You have five tenants over 10 years' time. That's five turnovers, folks. If you watch my other show, the MLS Search and Analysis Show, in every single episode, we've done almost 2,000 of them. I break down fixed and variable expense estimates for you guys, right? That's what I do. I give you guys the insight of what it really looks like to be a property manager, a property owner, a rental property investor in the Cleveland market. And repairs and maintenance is a line item I always make sure you guys pay attention to. Well, guess what, folks? Which amount of repairs, like that line item, repairs and maintenance, which occurrence do you think most of those are coming from? They're coming from your turnovers, right? When you actually have tenants in there, you're not spending a lot on repairs. You're not like doing like a monthly service call. No, 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 no. It's, it's a culmination of like, you know, two years, nothing happens, and then bam, you do a turnover. You're getting, you know, a couple, two, three, four, five grand out of your pocket. You're repaying the unit. You're doing this, you're doing that, right? Because when you get it fresh, ready to go for a new tenant, it needs to be perfect, turnkey, move in ready, right? Can't have some, like, you know, marks on the walls or this or that from the last tenant. Don't work that way, right? So what we like to do is when we do get a vacancy, you fix the unit up as nice as humanly possible so you can achieve market rent. And when you have an existing tenant, you want to keep their rent a little under market if it's way under market and only slowly increase it so you don't create that artificial turnover, folks. That is how Holton Wise has been so successful in becoming the largest scattered site property management company in the entire Cleveland area. And in my opinion, having the nicest low income housing stock anywhere. And that's why you get great solid deals like this particular property, man. Market rent, $15.50. Price point, $99.9. Only got to put down 25%. That is a ton of cash flow. If you don't know how to calculate cash flow, check out that MLS show I was telling you about, the 2,000 episodes, right? Uh, one other thing you need to know about this one is uh, this property has not yet been lead certified. Lead certification is a new law in Cleveland. This particular zip code is not due till the end of this year, so this one has not been lead certified. It will be sold without lead certification. However, the lead certification is not expected to be very uh, expensive, right? I don't think we're going to have any major issues. You don't need to go in and replace all the windows. You don't need to go in and reside the home. So I think it should be as smooth of a process to get this property lead certified as any. If for some reason you don't understand what the lead certification process is like, you're not alone. Last time I checked the data, only 7,000 of the 90,000 available rent rental units in the city of Cleveland have been lead certified. Don't worry, folks. Holton Wise is the number one resource for information on the lead certification process. When you're done with this show, check out my other video. I've linked it below for you where I go over how to get your property lead certified, right? We give you a half-hour tutorial on exactly how the process works. I guess that is another reason why those pieces of shit at Scene Magazine like to label Holton Wise slumlords. I don't know. Is it because we have the nicest low-income housing stock in the market? Is it because we are the first and foremost leader in lead certification education? I don't know what it is, man. I think our boys Sam Allard and Mark Apria are just wearing jeans that are too damn tight, and it's cutting off the plane the blood flow to their brains, man. Their little Libby brains, man. Those chest hairless bastards. Anyway, back to the topic at hand, folks. This deal, solid deal. The numbers speak for themselves. Again, if you don't know how to run the numbers, check out my other show, the MLS Search Analysis Show. We have over 2,000 episodes. No, not over 2,000 episodes. About 2,000. I think I filmed like 1955 today. Yeah, it's irrelevant. We got a bunch of them. So if you want to know how to run the numbers, check out that show. Uh, if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you want to book a call to get yourself uh, working with me on that show. If you already know what you want and you're just here in the Cleveland market looking for new inventory and you want to buy it in a transparent way, love to see the video tours right throughout this video. You've been able to see the inside of the units there at this particular property. And you want full-service property management, maintenance, construction, insurance from the biggest dogs in town. This is where you need to be. It's very simple. All you got to do. 
send your offer with your pre-approval letter or your proof of funds to sales at holtonwise.com. If you are financing, that's totally fine, man. Just give me that pre-approval letter. If you need lenders, I got them for you. If you want to pay cash, you don't have to. But if you do want to, the market is quite hot in Cleveland. A lot of people coming from the West Coast can't even sniff a duplex like this for under $100,000. So if you want to pay cash, that's totally fine. Shoot me your proof of funds. You could go ahead and redact your name. I don't need to commit identity theft. Uh, being the largest scattered site landlord in the Cleveland area does pay well, so identity theft is not in the business plan for us at this time. Who knows? Maybe the market takes a turn in 10 years, and we got to reevaluate that. But as of right now, uh, not necessary for us to identity theft you, so please go ahead and redact any personal information. But we do need to know... You got the money to do the deal because this bad boy will not last. I'll catch you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.